FantasyAnime.com Hello, this is the webmaster of FantasyAnime.com. So one of the great things about getting into video game emulation is that one, you can play games in English that were never officially released in English, and two, play your favorite games in a whole new way with ROM hacks. ROM hacks such as hacks that increase the game's difficulty or swap the dialogue with perverted humor. In any case, to have these experiences, you need to apply a patch to a ROM. Sometimes I pre-patch the ROM for you to save you the trouble of patching, but not for everything. So here is my tutorial to show you how to patch a ROM. It's very easy. So here is my SNES 9X folder, and in the ROMs folder is where I have all the goodies. So for this tutorial, we'll be patching Dualurb 2 with the English patch. So I have here the Dualurb 2 Japanese ROM, the Dualurb 2 English patch, and I have Lunar IPS, which is the patching utility that I offer in my fantasyanime.com. So there are two methods to patch a ROM. Uh, the first method is auto-patching and I will show you how to do that now. Now auto patching it's a feature only available on SNES 9X and Z SNES on Windows and I believe it also works on SNES 9X on Mac so to do auto patching we need to extract the ROM from the zip file first. Now I have WinRAR installed so your zip files won't quite behave as mine do with this pop-up. Uh, by default Windows uses compressed folders and to use a compressed folder is, is the exact same way as using a folder. You just double click on it and it opens up like a folder does and you can copy and drag out the files from there. So let's do that. Let's extract the Dualurb 2 Japanese ROM from its zip file. And now to extract the English patch which is Duo2v15. And the next step is to rename the English patch IPS file with the same exact file name as the ROM. So to do that, I am going to right click and pretend to rename the Dualurb 2 Japanese ROM just so that I can copy the exact file name. And I am renaming the IPS English patch. Paste the exact file name as the ROM. So that's done. Double clicking on SNES 9X to open it up and test out the ROM. File, load game, SMC, and there we go. It is successfully auto patched. So now for manual patching. To do that, we need to open up Lunar IPS. So I'm going to extract it from its zip file and I am double clicking on Lunar IPS and the first step is to click on apply IPS patch and I already have the ROMs folder open so I'm just going to double click on Dualurb 2 IPS and now I am double clicking on the ROM which is of course already extracted from its zip file and the file was successfully patched so now that I have done manual patching, I don't need to leave the SMC Super Nintendo ROM file out of its zip file. So I can put it back into a zip file. So I'm just going to rename it to uh, English. Okay, and I'm going to put it back into a zip file. And now I'm going to test it. Opening up SNS 9X, File, Load Game, Dualurb 2 English. And it works! So that's how you do manual patching. And now for a few important details about patching. So most of the time when you download a, an English translation or a hack, there will be one IPS patch in the zip file. But sometimes you might have multiple IPS patches in there. So which one is which and what do they do? You just read the README. The README will shed some light on you know, why the author created multiple patches. Sometimes different ROMs require different IPS patches and all that. So just do some reading. And another thing, 
when you load a freshly patched ROM or a ROM that you downloaded, particularly one from my website, you might see a bad checksum or checksum fail error on the bottom in white text. Uh, that's fine. Everything's fine. That just means that the English patch or the hack increased the size of the ROM, hence the checksum is different. So as long as the game starts up fine after this message, then everything's fine. On the other hand, if you patch a game and all that you get is a black screen when you load it up in the emulator, uh, that could be tricky, but in most cases, you miss the detail in the uh, instructions, so just go back to the readme and make sure that you have everything that it needs, you have the specific version of the ROM or any other detail. And that concludes my tutorial on how to patch a ROM. If you have any further questions, the fastest way to reach me is to contact me via fantasyanime.com when you click on contact. If you message me here on YouTube, you may not get a prompt response. Anyway, enjoy patching whatever ROM you want. Yay!